I'm gonna get at y'all with a little something real quick while I'm on the move right now. But if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I hope y'all been enjoying all the last little shorts I've been dropping, the little videos I've been dropping. Once again, shout out to the Rams. They just had their little parade. That was cool, you know what I mean? It wasn't like a Laker parade though, but it was cool. They did their shit, they earned that, they deserved that. All right, so what I wanna talk to y'all about, cause it's on my mind, that's why I'm just doing this right now. So I'm the type like, I believe in like certain shit come to you, you either gotta write it down or you gotta record that shit. I don't feel like writing it down. I left my day planner at the house. And once again, if y'all haven't gotten one, please uh, hit the, uh, the, the link down below and tap in the Amazon link down below and subscribe to that and uh, check out my day planners. All right, so what I wanna talk to y'all about is balance. This is the thing that a lot of people don't understand. This is the thing that they never taught us in school. This is things our parents, nobody ever taught us that. They never taught us this in church. They never taught us this at the mosque. They never taught us this. But this is some shit, you just think about it, it makes sense. It just sounds about right. So about balance this, I always say like, uh, that's the problem with a lot of people. A lot of people don't have balance. They don't understand balance first and foremost. I didn't understand balance. I understand it now. I didn't understand it before. But through trial and error, you know, I grasped the concept of balance. So I comprehend the meaning and the importance of having balance in your life. So, okay, from middle school, when I came up, we didn't call it middle school. When I came up, we called it junior high school. Now they call it middle school. So during those days, that time, from middle school, junior high school, rather, through high school and college, we all had different uh, different classes. You go to reading one one for about an hour. You go to math for an hour. You go to history for an hour. Social studies and so on and so on. Then have PE and then you know I think they got like eight classes or some shit these days. I don't know. I forgot what we had back in the 80s too. But anyway, you went to those different classes to teach you balance. You being able to deal with different subjects, different things in life, and you know be able to, that's balance to be able to go over here and deal with this, then to go over here and deal with that, right? Balance is important. Once you have balance, your ship will sail freely. If your ship is unbalanced, your ship will not float right. Your ship's gonna sink. It got to be balanced in your life. You got to be able to go deal with different situations and come back to this and deal with another. Life ain't about being one way. You got to be able to be uh, versatile. You got to be able to know how to flip the script, you know, you gotta be able to do things differently than the way you've been doing them. You can't stick to the same formula and think that's one way it's going to get you there. And I'm gonna say as a people, cause this is Black History Month, I'm gonna say something with y'all. As black people, okay, let's get back to this balance act, right? You got Crips over here on your left. Then you got Bloods over here on your right. You know, if it's just a ship and you got the centerpiece of this ship, and it's too much to the left, that ship gonna sink. If it's too much to the right, that ship gonna sink. You gotta have that balance in for this ship, in order for this ship to sail correctly. So the black race, in order for the black race to prevail and succeed and sail on smoother waters than what we experienced when we came over here on the motherfucking slave ships. Now follow me now, this is black history, I'ma drop some facts on y'all, right? That was a slave ship we came over here on, right? So when we got a ship that's unbalanced, that's a slave ship, because this motherfucker can sink eventually and destroy a whole bunch of souls like it did in the ocean back then. Is that the Red Sea or whatever sea that was? I'm not quite accurate with that right now, but y'all know what I'm saying. So you gotta have balance in life. As a race of people, you gotta have balance in life. This is Black History Month, so it's only right that I drop some signs, some real shit from my perspective and not the perspective of somebody who that ain't black, you know what I mean? That ain't been through some of the shit that I've been through. It's, that somebody black better tell black history stories at times. Somebody that's really from a different environment, a street motherfucker who done been in, grew up in the prison system, studying a lot of black literature, my damn self, and understanding the culture and, and having, being blessed with the ability to be aware of what's going on in the culture and how it's going on and understand the importance of balance as a man, as a woman, as a people. You gotta understand that kind of shit. So in your life, whatever you're doing, if you're doing too much gang bang shit, your life is unbalanced. You're gonna have to mix it up. You're gonna have to step outside of that, that comfort zone and see something different. You're gonna have to go to a different class. You're gonna have to go to a different level. And I always say gang banging, you know, 
is like you start out you being wild as fuck. That's like elementary preschool, elementary school. You you being wild as fuck. Then you graduate to junior high school. Then you graduate to high school. And then you college. Then you you on a different level. A lot of people that's game banging is still stuck on basic shit. They still in elementary school with their game banging. They not understanding growth. So if a person's not understanding growth on a gang bang level, I guess that person that's not going to understand growth on a personal level because that person is putting so much into the gang bang more than he getting to putting into the personal. So if you don't catch it on that, it's going to be hard for you to catch it on another level. So you got to be able to convey to people in a way that I'm doing now, convey to people to understand that we got to grow, man. It's important to have balance with your growth. You got to get up out of that comfort zone of bullshit. The comfort zone of bullshit is that's just entrapment because so many of us is caught up in that and we think that's the way to go. That's the way to be. And it's not. You're not understanding. You're not even looking at your life and understanding you ain't made no progress in the last 20, 30 years. You're still on the same shit. You're still in elementary school when you should be done graduated by now. But you haven't. You don't have that balance. You don't have that ability to recognize and see shit the way it should be seen. You see things from cloudy lenses and shit. And thinking you're seeing some real shit. You're like been fooled, been hoodwinked by some motherfuckers that you think is top shelf. I mean, in life, not just from your hood, but certain motherfuckers you think is top shelf and you chase that top shelf more than you chase anything else because your balance is fucked up. Your balance is fucked up when you can put in too much into this class more than that class. This class being this gang shit, then you got another class over this class called family, your kids, shit like that, right? See, unbalanced again. These are just different examples of what balance the importance of balance is to us why we all need that shit and people don't speak on balance because people don't understand balance you put too much to this gang shit you neglect your family shit you got responsibilities as a family man as a father as a mother you got that right there I mean so look at the balance how much time is you putting into this hood shit then you should be putting on this family shit and making yourself more established because once you become established understand this if you're established you're there for your family because you got shit. If you're not established, you just like, you ain't got shit going. You sitting on somebody's couch and shit. You ain't up trying to apply yourself. You sitting around uh, critiquing motherfuckers YouTube videos and shit like that. All on Facebook doing this old bullshit, sell soldier type shit. Come on, man. Use that energy towards something else. Most of y'all got kids and you ain't using that same energy towards them. You are gonna use a lot of energy to talk about my motherfucking videos but that you won't, that you're not even using that same energy to convey, to correspond, to communicate with your own motherfucking kids. There lies the problem. Once again, your balance is fucked up. Your whole fucking equilibrium is fucked up because you're not stable. You're not thinking straight. You're not focused. You're thinking this is everything and that's everything. No, you got to have a balance. If you're doing this gangbang shit, you got to understand that you can't do only that, bruh. You got to do more than that. You got to get up out of that. You got to think you got a family first and foremost. Your family come first. Understand that. Your family come first, man. God come first. Your family come first. Not the motherfucking hood, bro. That shit going to be there or uh, whatever. You know what I mean? But you only going to get one family, man. And you think the hood is your family. Some individuals might be your family. But understand this. The moment you fuck up, niggas on your ass.